maybe I'm delusional. I need that like magic for my race day. Um, I'm wearing my new shoes. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to talk about New Balance SC Elite V4. Currently, I'm training for London Marathon. The race is about 10 weeks out, and I am looking for the perfect running shoe for the race. Uh, I have always run in Vaporfly in the past, um, but now I have been considering should I opt for a more comfortable option, which is why I wanted to try out New Balance SC Elite when it first came out. First impression. When I first received the shoes uh, out of the box, um, I was very impressed by just the construction of the shoe. Uh, the, the first thing I got was uh, the shoes are very light. Uh, it's very light in my hand, uh, has a very nice stack height, which is something that I like. Gives, I know for sure that the foam, enough of foam, is going to give me that comfort that I might be looking for. Uh, the shoe are also quite wide. Just looking at it, you feel like this is not a typical Nike racing shoe. Have a very narrow, uh, I guess, forefoot, relatively narrow forefoot. Uh, the upper is there's something called Phantom Fit. It's very nicely like construction upper. It's very thin, uh, but is holding up everything together. The shoelace is also very thin. The heel cap is also very thin and it doesn't have the type of cushion uh, like you see in Vaporfly. There's some cushion to just making sure you, there's a heel lock in there, but this shoe um, doesn't have uh, any padding in her, but it does have this kind of really solid structure in the back. Uh, and I tried them on the night before uh, the first run um, and I know for sure uh, they are comfortable. They felt very stable under the, the uh, they feel very stable under the feet. Um, usually I won't try a new shoe for a long run, but I loved the Fuel Cell series like Supercom Trainer. Uh, so I have the Supercom Elite V3 which is why I feel pretty comfortable uh, trying the new shoe for a long run. I like the stack height. I'm not sure what is the stack height. Usually I don't check the spec, but I know for this uh, version, uh, the toe drop is four millimeter. I usually prefer like eight millimeter, just uh, mentally, I do feel a higher drop shoe will help me propel forward when I'm running, uh, but I have the th uh, version 3. Version 3 also has a huge drop or a toe drop of four millimeter as well. And I love those shoes. So I really don't mind a four millimeter uh, drop shoe based on my uh, just experience. So what's the first impression during the first run? Um, I went for a two hours long run at a steady pace around eight minute to nine minute mile anywhere in between. During the first hour, I actually ran faster than I thought just by looking at my watch. Um, and so the the first thing came into my mind was, oh my God, they're so comfortable. Um, the upper fit great. It has this very comfortable lockdown. It's not too tight over uh, my feet, but I feel like I have all the support that I needed um, to keep my uh, feet secure in the shoe. Uh, there were no heel slip whatsoever. Um, I think heel slip has a lot to do with the construction of the midsole, the shape of the midsole. And because of how the shoe are construction based on the upper and then the midsole design, my uh, feet were just naturally uh, sitting uh, in the shoe without having to worry about like if I am moving or walking forward or running forward, my heels uh, are coming out of the, the heel cap. So that's great. The second uh, thought I had uh, during the run was um, they are so light. Um, I just felt like I was tapping my feet uh, moving forward, like this 
like <laughs> each single step. I was just really tapping forward. Uh, and because of that, I, I think it's like just personal feeling. Uh, it helped me improve my uh, running efficiency. I was looking at my watch at the pace I was going at. I'm not sure if that's just some new shoe magic, but I was going slightly faster uh, than I thought with the, the effort I was putting in. Uh, so that's great because uh, for racing shoe, you're supposed to uh, go at a pace with less of effort. That's what you're expecting from a carbon plated racing shoe. Uh, that was during the first hour. Uh, the second, during the second hour, I was really tired actually going out into this run. I had a really stressful week because of work and everything else, just life. So I was, I had a pretty low energy to start and during the second hour on the way back, uh, I was tired and then during the last few miles, I was even slowing down. I was running around like 9.30 uh, or even 10 minute mile uh, when I was going uh, a little bit uphill uh, at a certain part of the park. These two really uh, uh, did really well as well when I was running at a slower pace. Um, a little background here is I'm a middle packer marathoner. Uh, my best time right now is like 3.49. So um, I'm chasing for a PR for a Linden Marathon. But for meat packer, um, I kind of know that if I put it into the work, I can run faster. But at the same time, I value comfort, not just speed, I also value comfort. Um, so conclusion here is after my first run, I absolutely loved uh, the shoe because of just the midsole comfort uh, construction, uh, no hot spot, um, very thin shoelace um, and lightweight felt they, they feel very like lightweight uh, on my feet during the run. Um, I also walk around for about like two hours after the run trying to like do grocery shopping with those shoes. Uh, they are very comfortable as well. I just feel like I was like walking around with um, like a flashy walking shoes. So um, I would totally recommend this to almost like anyone uh, who is looking for a fast day shoe or a racing day shoe. I can talk about the price point. So there are $250 with tax uh, is 270 US dollars. Um, it's definitely expensive, but nowadays most of the racing shoes or the super shoes, the carbon plate is around $250. So I think it's reasonable, especially with the opera construction, um, just the comfort that uh, this shoe can offer. Uh, I would say this is a great buy. So the question is, am I going to use SC Elite V4 for London Marathon based on my first run? Uh, to be honest, I'm unsure at this point. I absolutely loved uh, this shoe. Uh, it's definitely on my list to consider. Uh, the reason I'm unsure at this point is usually like I think a lot of runners can relate as when you are training for a marathon uh, and on race day, you want um, a shoe, at least on paper or marketing. However, the, the shoe company is marketing it. Uh, you want the shoe be able to give you that magic, the extra like edge, right? Uh, for you to do way better than you are capable of. Um, maybe that's why I have been racing with Vaporfly and before when they have the first iteration it's called 4%. I got 4% immediately when it came out because I thought it's going to make me 4% faster. Um, and uh, this shoe definitely has some of that magic I'm looking for based on how I feel. Um, but I'm not sure it is there yet. So I would like to explore other options. I already bought a pair of uh, Vaporfly version 3. I tried them on for a temple run the other day. Uh, I like them. I can do a comparison video as I'm getting closer to the marathon, just make up my mind. But there are other training shoes uh, that are on my radar I'm looking to try. Um, on the top of my mind is ASICS. Uh, ASICS has a version called Meta Speed Edge Plus for um, 
people when they are trying to run fast, they increase their cadence versus increasing their stride length. Uh, I'm interested to try that one out. So I may get a pair in the next like one or two weeks uh, and then go for a run and then share my thoughts with you all. Um, but just to conclude this video, uh, I don't regret buying them and I definitely enjoyed my run. I may use them for another uh, workout, maybe like a long uh, tempo during the week just to get a feel of it. Uh, and I won't be using them for more workouts because I want to keep them low mileage to prepare for the race in case I want to use them. Uh, and I'm not preparing to buy a second pair of the same shoe uh, before the race if I decide to use them. So this is today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye. Oh, it's not paused yet.